What's going on, Derek with Lucid? And in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different. Um, we're actually gonna be taking the grip off. We get this question a lot, um, and we're gonna sit, we're gonna demo it today on how you get Lucid grip uh, off your deck. Um, now, because Lucid is not your traditional peel and stick, uh, this is a little bit different. Um, the good news is you can take it off, but it may not be the best method for you. So just if you do have graphics or uh, paint or something underneath the grip this method might damage that. So you just want to be careful of that. Um, and you could get lucky and just do a light layer of it and just carefully remove it without scraping it off and you could save the art underneath. But just be careful. Do little spots uh, prior to just going all at it on your deck. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to be using this Arbor deck. It's a little beat up. It's a little old. Um, so what I'm going to do is tape half of it off. I'm going to do one side. Uh, remove the grip and I'm gonna clean it up sand it and then reapply the lucid grip to it uh, and show you the differences between basically removing cleaning up and how it looked like uh, prior so without uh, further ado let's get into it I'm gonna be removing the trucks uh, to make it a little bit easier to work with the deck so let's do it All right, so I got the trucks and wheels off uh, the deck. Uh, it's just gonna make it a little bit easier to work with uh, so it's not rolling around on me. So now again, uh, if you do have art or paint or something underneath the grip, you just wanna be careful. Test a little spot on the end of the deck or somewhere uh, before just going at it and you just end up ruining something that's underneath it. Because uh, there's other methods. Like if, if you're just looking to clean it up and uh, get it clean again and just do a fresh uh, layer of loose grip, uh, you can take a scrub brush. We have videos, which I'll post the links down into the description below, on how to clean your deck up and to reapply Lucid Grip without having to remove the grip itself. Uh, this is just the most extreme method of just removing it completely, sanding it down, cleaning things up, and applying a new, new uh, fresh cut of grip, or you're putting something else on it. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna be taping this off right here. Uh, the stuff that I'll be using to remove the grip is essentially a paint and varnish remover, uh, but we use the Max Drip. It's a great, uh, it's eco-friendly. Uh, there's not harsh chemicals in it. Um, it does work extremely well on our uh, on our particular liquid or lacquer that we use with the grip. I'll have a, a link down in the description on where you can get this stuff. It's usually at your big Home Depots or Lowe's, uh, something like that. You can pick it up. Sometimes they don't have it in store. You might have to get it online. Uh, but anyway. Uh, Max Strip, uh, great stuff, eco-friendly. We're gonna be using this in today's video to remove the grip. So, by doing that, we're gonna have to shake the bottle up real good. And I'm gonna be pouring some into a cup, and then I'm gonna basically kinda pour it on, use the brush to spread it out. Uh, you do wanna go pretty thick with this stuff. Uh, don't get too shy with it. Uh, it is kinda like a weird paste. I'm basically just gonna kind of dump it on and then when you go back over the brush and spread it on. And also make sure that the area that you're working with, you cover it up with plastic paper, kind of like what I did, so you're not getting this stuff on anything. But here we go, I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth here. All right, so now what we wanna do is we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. Uh, sometimes you wanna wait up to an hour so we'll come back and uh, wipe it clean and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Uh, I got a nice goopy mess going on here, but again, I went a little overboard with it, but it's okay. Because sometimes if you don't get it off the first pass, you can add more to it. Uh, it's just to really just use as much as you need to, to make it work. So anyway, moving forward, uh, I'm gonna be using some gloves. I got two rags here. Uh, one thing too that I forgot to mention um, if you really want to be careful about what's on the bottom too, um, I was just going out of here. Uh, you might want to tape the bottom off so the stuff doesn't drip over and get underneath because if there's graphics, it'll just wipe that stuff right off. So we got that first layer off. Now, one thing I could make it a little bit easier too is once you get that little bit excess off, um, you can actually put another layer on which might eat through it a little bit more and make it a lot easier just to scrub off. But I'm just going to go at it. Uh, it should start coming off pretty fairly easily. And as you can see, just with the rag alone, it's already gunking up and peeling off the grip and the varnish that's underneath. So again, be careful. If you have graphics, this may remove that underneath it. All 
Uh, so this side still has the original grip on it. This is the side that I've removed with the uh, Max Strip. Um, now I'm just gonna go over it and just sand it up, clean it up, and then uh, apply a fresh layer of Lucid Grip and we'll see the differences between the two sides. Okay, my sanding is done. Did a nice little light sanding on it. Um, took it down basically to the bare wood again. Um, so you can definitely tell the difference where <laughs> the original grip was. And now we got a nice, fresh, clean deck to uh, refinish and regrip and make it look like new again. Loose liquid, here we go. I'm gonna brush this part on. Now I'm not gonna spray this part. There's no need to do that. I'm just gonna kind of dump a little bit on. Just be careful if you do it this way, don't pour uh, too much out. Just pour a little bit at a time. It goes a, goes a long way. All right, and we're back. I got that first layer of liquid on, or the Lucid Lacquer. Um, I'm actually pretty pleased with it right now. I don't have to go back and sand it. Looks great, it's nice and smooth. Um, and so from here, I'm gonna basically be uh, applying the uh, Lucid Grip. Uh, I'm going to be using the uh, medium uh, size uh, granule in this. Uh, so for Lucid Grip, this isn't a demo on how to use Lucid Grip, but the basic uh, uh, steps is you lay down a layer of the liquid, then you're going to sprinkle some grip on. After that, important part, another layer of liquid on top of that to lock everything in. Um, now there is other videos, I'll put uh, a link in the description of this uh, video of how to appropriately disperse the grip out of the container. Uh, so here we go with the medium grip. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the uh, second layer of liquid. And this part, I'm gonna actually use the spray nozzle because uh, you don't want to use a brush, otherwise you're just going to move all the granules around and it's going to look like crap. All right, and we're back. The uh, grip side is all dry now. Uh, you can obviously tell the difference between the old original side and the newly uh, redone uh, grip side. Uh, I did take this side down basically to the raw wood and put a new finish and a new layer of uh, Lucid Grip on top. Um, and from here, I'll be putting the trucks and wheels back on the deck, obviously. Uh, but in this demo, I was basically showing you that, yes, you can remove Lucid Grip. Um, it's not that bad of a process. Uh, again, it's not like your traditional peel and stick where you can just peel it off, put a new layer down. If you do have art or paint underneath the grip, be careful because more than likely this, this process is going to remove that or damage that. So, um, and if that's the case and you're a little worried about that, uh, check out the, the link down below. I have another video on how to basically you can scrub your deck clean with the grip on top with a little soap and water and put a whole new fresh layer of Lucid Grip on top and that still revives the deck and kind of brings it back to new and gives you a whole, a whole fresh new uh, layer of grip on your deck. Um, so check that, that link out if you're afraid of touching any art that's on top of the, uh, the deck. If you do have any questions or concerns regarding this process or any other questions regarding our grip or products, reach out to us, info at lucidgrip.com. Check out all the other products we have to offer at lucidgrip.com. And don't forget to follow us on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And make sure you hashtag us in your photos of uh, you guys using our products. Because uh, we love sharing it and uh, helping you guys uh, get out there and spread the word. So thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.